Hello! Are you guys bored and stuck inside and want to do something else other than play video games and watch Netflix? Good, we're gonna teach you today how to juggle. So, first, all you will need are three round objects. They do not have to be actual juggling equipment. You can use fruit, so if you have three oranges or three tennis balls or basically anything that is roughly the same weight and you have three of them, it's easier if they're round. Um, you can juggle with other objects because thanks to gravity, they're all gonna fall at the same speed Anyway, I'm left-handed, but I'll pretend that I'm right-handed because most people watching this are probably right-handed. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna try to draw a rainbow going over, over, over. If you notice, I'm throwing from one hand to the next. I'm not passing under. This is a separate juggling skill, which is more advanced. We're learning what's known as cascade juggling or the pattern is known as cascade. So if I was doing left hand, here. Eventually you can just go back and forth with both. You don't want to make it super small because when you have three, this is going to be really, really fast. So the higher you go, the more time you have to catch it. So loosen up your body, you know, shoulder width apart. Arms are loose. I'm not locking like this and then trying to catch it. I'm meeting the ball in the air. So I'm not just waiting for it to drop all the way into my hand. If you notice, my hand comes up to the ball. So you can let it drop, but that gets harder when you're juggling three. So literally this is the pattern. It's throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch. Cool. So when you first start, it might help to look up where you're throwing. I like to go about head height. You can go a little bit lower or a little bit higher. Again, the higher you go, the more time you have to catch the ball. Some people also like to pretend there's a wall or actually go to a wall and juggle so you don't end up running around after the balls, which is fine, it happens, but the wall will force you to stay you know, kind of centered. So again, I'm juggling as if I'm right-handed. So right ball will go first and then the left one. So I'm still gonna throw that rainbow pattern, but the second ball is gonna go under that first rainbow. So big rainbow, little rainbow, big, little. Throw, throw, catch, catch. So if you notice, both balls will go in the air before I catch either one of them. Throw, throw, catch, catch. So that's different than this. If you're doing this, that's a different movement. All right, so what I recommend before moving on to another part of the skill, you should be able to do it three times without messing up three times. So three sets of three. So again, just with the one ball, one, two, three. And then maybe try the other side, one, two, three. And then do that three times, cool? Then with two, so again, throw, throw, catch, catch, one. Throw, throw, catch, catch, two. Throw, throw, catch, catch, three. Then try another set of that. If you can do that three times three, then move on. So now we're gonna bring the third ball into this. So again, I'm doing this as if I'm right-handed. So two balls go into your dominant hand. I like to hold, again, there's differences depending on the juggler you ask, but I like to hold the second ball, really with my thumb, the meaty part of my thumb and my pinky, maybe even get my ring finger on it. And then the other ball I hold with my thumb, my index and my middle finger. I'm gonna throw this ball first and then it's gonna be the other hand, and then this ball. Still throw, throw, catch, catch. So again, I'm gonna show you, and then I'll break it down. All right, so now that you saw Cascade from a right-hander's perspective, it's the same thing if you wanna go left, it's just two hands, or two balls in the other hand. And again, I'm going a little lower and a little bit faster, just to show you, and I can even look at the camera while I juggle now, because I've been doing this a while, but when you start, again, a little bit higher, so you can see, you know, I'm looking with my peripheral vision. Where I'm aiming with the ball, it's almost like there's a box and you're hitting the corners like an X. So corner, 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 cool. And again, if you move around a little bit in the beginning, that's totally fine. Just do what you need to, to not do that. So when you have three again, going back to the right-hander start, see how I'm holding it. Again, you can try different grips if you want. It's still throw, throw, catch, catch. If you go really low, you're gonna have to go really fast. Just because, again, gravity doesn't care that you wanna be able to do this. So you're gonna have to throw higher to give yourself more time. And again, try the one, two, three, stop. One, two, three, stop. When you get that three times, then try one, two, three, four, stop. One, two, three, four, stop. And then up to five, three, four, five, Stop, it just gives you like a concrete goal. And then when you get comfortable hitting whatever number you're going for three times, eventually it's just, you keep going. I go throw, throw, catch, catch, throw, throw, catch, catch. Or you don't have to say that anymore. You can just, you know, not talk. <laughs> but 
This is cascade juggling. Again, it leads to tennis, which is where occasionally you throw one over the top. Um, you could do reverse cascade, which is the same pattern, just from the outside instead of the inside. It's a little bit harder. So again, things to look forward to. You can pick this up in like, you know, a couple hours. You won't be smooth necessarily. Some people it takes a little bit longer. Just depends on your dexterity and your hand-eye coordination, but don't feel discouraged that this takes a while. Um, different skills take different amounts of time. Juggling came a little bit faster to me than unicycling. That took me an entire summer doing it every day. So again, just some skills that you can practice while being safe, maintaining social distancing, and uh, just something fun to add to your repertoire. All right, another common mistake, people throw the balls really, really fast. You can wait. With only three in this particular pattern, you don't have to go super fast. So look how much time I have between each catch. You don't have to do this. You don't have to get them out of your hand immediately. Take your time. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. When you get comfortable, you can bring it a little lower and you can go faster. But there's no need to start trying to rush to this. Remember, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. So there you have it for Juggling 101. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe below. And let me know what other kind of skills you would like to learn on this channel.